What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Sierra Wireless 4G Tri-Fi Hotspot. When one Fi or two Fi is not enough, Sprint's got you covered. So this is obviously a mobile hotspot that does Evdo, so that's the 3G. It does WiMAX for 4G and it will eventually do LTE once the network is here for another version of 4G. So all the network Sprint supports, except for some super old legacy ones, this guy is going to be able to take in and suck out his Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and see if it works. All right, so here's the box. Typical sort of new Sprint packaging, very uh, environmentally friendly. It's available now, 99 bucks with a two-year contract or 349 bucks if you wanna buy it just outright. Go ahead and take off the lid. Boom, it's been delidded. Uh, here is the Tri-Fi hotspot. Pretty decently sized. We'll see, I'm curious if there's a SIM card in here actually for um, for LTE even though Sprint doesn't have uh, their network on yet. See what else we're gonna have? Get started, all you need to know to get started. We don't need to read that. Who reads manuals anymore? Um, we've got just an absolutely gargantuan battery which also looks like it serves as the back. Uh, this is a 3600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it's gonna be good for eight hours of use or eight weeks of standby. I think it's giant. Imagine putting that thing into a phone. I think it'd be a brick. Um, but you'd definitely be able to get through a full day. Uh, let's see what else we're gonna have in the box. We've got, looks like the back. So we're gonna have a hump back for this. Get it? Like a whale. Uh, and then we've got the power cable, which is just a little brick. And it's of the micro uh, USB variety. So pretty standard there. And Sprint's always really good about including bags for recycling devices. If you throw your old cell phones or batteries in the garbage, they go to landfills and the Battery juice, um, we'll get all technical, can, uh, can leak out. I know battery juice isn't real. Don't leave it in the comments. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So here it is. Um, I don't see any SIM card in here. Well, maybe it's embedded or there's where the micro card would go. Um, so you can actually use this for uh, wireless storage. No SIM card, at least that I can see usually removed. So maybe it's hidden or maybe once Sprint has SIM cards, they will release them. So I'll go ahead and pop that back in. We'll put on our hump back, which I figure goes like this. And of course, since this is a mobile hotspot, we gotta do a speed test. So let's go ahead and power it on. Let's see what we got actually on the sides. Um, there's where you charge and power. There's your uh, WPS, and it looks like there's a power switch. And that's about it. This is sort of a soft touch feel to it. Um, this is not a little device in the world of hotspots. This is a large device in the world of hotspots. But if you need something that's going to work on pretty much every network that uh, a particular carrier offers, in this case Sprint, uh, it's gonna be a good option for you. Uh, there is an LCD screen there, but unfortunately we didn't have enough power to turn that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in, juice it up, and um, see if we can get some speed tests. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we've got this guy juiced up. We got the Sprint logo powering up, and not the Sprint slogan. Uh, just letting me know what it's doing. So you have a full color uh, LCD display here. 3G, 4G, Sprint. It is nice that this does every network. So if you've got WiMAX by you, hey, you're gonna be set. Uh, if you, hopefully in one of the LTE markets, you're gonna be set. Or if you've got Sprint's, albeit not overly fast, 3G uh, EBDO network, uh, you'd be able to use that here as well. So 4G LTE Tri-Fi Hotspot, it's booting up. I know it's booting up because it's playing a game of snake with itself and it keeps losing. Go, 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 go up! And it just keeps uh, losing. So let this guy boot up. Uh, we'll test speeds here in just a moment. <sighs> Battery this big, you figure it's got plenty of juice left in it, right? Can you imagine putting that in a phone? It's dying actually. Oh, it's not too Power safe. Yeah, no, it's fine. 4G network's not found, press start to search. All right, so 4G network's not found, press start to search, or press power to search. Searching for 4G LTE network. So there must be a SIM card in there, uh, but it's not gonna find 4G LTE because Sprint don't have it yet. I know, it's not found. Let's go ahead and take it out of power save mode. I think that's maybe what that is. So perhaps that's why you should read the instructions. Uh, there we go, so I found something. Uh, reporting update status to server, press to cancel. 
So showing 4G, so it's probably pulling in WiMAX. We do have WiMAX here in Southern California, which is where I'm at. Uh, and when I do get to network speed, certainly it's going to vary depending on where you are in your location. I'm in Southern California. Depending on the time of day, whether or not there are clouds, how many people are on your network, what the network feels like, whether or not you had a healthy breakfast, and all kinds of stuff that obviously come with the caveats of doing network speed tests. So keep that in mind. I always see it in the comments down below. Well, I get X and O speed, so you're wrong and have a dumb face. Um, just to show what speeds are here. So we are connected to the Sprint hotspot. I'm just using an iPhone here for testing purposes. Let's go to one of my favorite apps, that is Speed Test, and see what we are looking at. Again, just for fun. Uh, it does say we're connected um, over 4G there, and that is WiMAX. So let's see how quick that's going to work. Uh, you can configure the network name and the password as well. I uh, would just go to Sprint hotspot and go through a few settings. It's pretty easy to do. And we are getting... Pretty decent WiMAX speeds, actually. Pretty decent 4G speeds uh, overall. So five megabits down, and looks like we'll probably get one-ish up. Uh, the five down is pretty comparable with actually uh, LTE speeds um, around here in Southern California. The up's a little bit slower. Usually we get about one to two up, but certainly serviceable. So this is a, awesome. maybe I'm gonna eat a little bit of crow. Surprisingly a useful device here uh, with WiMAX. And once Sprint gets LTE, uh, perhaps this might be a good device to carry around uh, in your bag. So whether or not this is going to be worth it for you, you know, you're going to have to decide. It definitely comes in uh, at a relatively reasonable price point, 99 bucks, or you just buy it out right at 349 use it for as long as you want, sell it, uh, and pay your data month to month. Um, that's an option as well. Certainly though, I'd probably recommend waiting until uh, LTE comes to you before you pick one of these bad boys up. Uh, anyway guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.